Hello and welcome back to my channel, Doom Metal Stuff. I have been gifted a tool holder and I will show you this clip that I recorded yesterday. In this clip you will uh, see and hear a little blooper and you hear the rain pouring. Yeah, this nice box. Ooh, it's a tool holder. So let's put this together. This piece must be going like this. Ooh, don't worry. So. Uh -oh. And the uh, rain is starting to pour as a Welcome to Holland, where the sun shines and the rain drops. Today I'm going to show you a tool that I, that I have been given and it's this big one. Um, this is um, <coughs> this is an Armstrong lookalike, I believe. I don't know uh, the maker of this one, but I will show you. Uh, I will show you the indents, the the stamps in here, in this little clip. But this is not uh, made by Armstrong. This is made by A E E Mark. There are some. Um, don't know if you can see this. those marks so this is the shape of tool post a uh, lantern tool post and as you can see this is the opening where my tools could normally fit in and if I take this uh, Armstrong Armstrong lookalike Eh. Eh. It's not gonna fit. So, problem number one. Let's take uh, this piece out and see what I've done to investigate how I'm gonna make this thing fit in my little shaper. Let's take a look at this. First, I have um, to take this one out. My AI Germany wrench. So I take the clapper uh, piece out of my clapper box and I will show you this uh, tapered pin. This one is tapered, it will uh, go in like this the correct way and it will not go any farther in like this because it's tapered. <coughs> now I have um, measured the uh, outside the uh, bits and thingies and uh, that's doable. So I thought uh, at work we have some tapered remus uh, that I was first going to look if some of those might fit this hole. In this clip you will see me uh, try and fit some uh, uh, tapered remus. You saw the little clip of uh, Two remus that I uh, uh, have lying on the table there, uh, they, they didn't fit. Um, I believe I have found like 10 of those in the neighborhood of this uh, size. But somewhere in the length of time, the ISO standards 
are uh, completely different uh, to the standards of nowadays. So there ain't no rima for this. I will show you the first drawing that I have uh, made in this little clip, and you uh, uh, see, <coughs> and you see the hole is drawn in, and the uh, outline of the clapping bit is in there. So next up, how to get something like this into a new piece. So the idea was I'm gonna make a straight hole through my um, clapper bit and I will show you in this piece that I've tested on. This is a 18 millimeter reamed hole with a normal standard reamer. And I'm gonna make a bushing that fits in here with this taper in there. And I did that on the CNC lathe machine. Here's this bushing I made. This side is the small uh, side and this one is the big side. I have made this a little bit oversized as you can see. So I can adjust for the correct uh, placement. And I will show you my two other uh, ideas of how to fix my Armstrong lookalike. In this next clip is the first clip with uh, four studs, studs in there and a normal uh, clamping plate at the front. Something like the uh, keyway machines have. But then one day later I come up with this idea. Uh, it looked like this with um, it looked like this with the lantern tool post holder only a slightly bigger. So what do you think? Do I make the first one or do I make the second one? I will make a poll on my YouTube channel where you can choose one or the other. So the second one with the lantern tool post. Uh, holders. First one I have made with a little uh, hardened pin in here with 36 little holes in the back plate of the lantern po tool post. In the other I made the same pin in here but I, then I made 18 holes at 10 degrees and 18 holes at the other side at 5 degrees difference from the first uh, row of holes. Is it a row? No, it's not a row. You will see this in this clip. So this uh, bushing thing that I made with this small hole on this side and the big hole on this side will fit Without of play, as you can see, so that went good. <coughs> and then I took a piece of stock material that was left over and uh, on its way to the scrap bin. And I thought it was uh, 61 millimeters wide, but it isn't. So there I go wrong because this needs to be 60 and this is not big enough. Um, what I did was I put it in the uh, mill and I milled this piece of uh, around and I make this big hole in there. Um, this fits as you can see I will not push it any farther because then it's stuck and I need this one, but I need to replace, replace this one. 
but Ow. so if you have seen the 3d sketches that i have uh, shown you in this uh, past few moments please uh, please comment on this video or in the um, poll which one you like the most to see created by me so when the the poll is done in a few days i will start and create this thing that i want for my copy of an armstrong tool holder and i hope you will enjoy to see uh, the making of it so fill in the poll hit the like, like button hit the subscribe button and i will see you next time thank you for watching